It's a victory for the city's history and the Heritage Preservation Commission. The new bid of $85,000 is what saved the tower. When we finally heard, obviously we were quite excited. The utility had set aside some money that they were either going to have to use when they tore it down or they said that it could be used to help restore it if we were able to do that. So when we got the new bid and we realized we were already very close to having all the money we needed, it was, it was very exciting and everybody that I've talked to so far has been very excited with the news. Joshua Fox, the chair of the HPC, says the tower was not about to come down anytime soon, but he says it's been years of hard work and research of the restoration project to keep this landmark on Jackson Avenue. It needs some restoration, it's covered in lead paint, so the lead paint that's flaking will be taken off, the rest will be sealed in and it'll be repainted. Um, the idea would be to do a red roof on it and then some sort of paint scheme. Exactly what it would be will isn't exactly decided yet. The 95-year-old tower is decommissioned and has been for five decades. Joshua says back in time before the water tower existed, firemen retrieved water from wells and trains. In 1898, for example, the, most of the town burned down. So insurance companies were getting fed up with paying out fire claims year after year without the town having fire suppression. So they were going to raise rates or drop coverage. And the city as a result, which was a village back then, made a bond and it was voted on and it passed. And so in 1919, they started plans and in 1920, the water tower went up. It's a sigh of relief to know this piece of history is not going anywhere. And there's no reason that we can't have progress that is, that is matched up with historic monuments as well. And, and new and old can go together. We see that in Europe a lot with the Louvre and how they took an old museum and put a very modern new portion onto it. So there's nothing to say that history must be left the way it is and that history means that we stop. Historic landmarks can come with us into the future. And hopefully that's what the water tower does is moves forward with us. To go back to it exactly, we're not sure if we want to make it look exactly like the original water tower did. That's something that maybe the community and different members of the city council and, and different commissions might want to have a say on something like that.